Ok, ya regresó el teacher. Te llamamos después. Ok. okay. I'm really sorry, people. De verdad que he estado teniendo a uh, serios inconvenientes no con, con el internet. No sé qué sucede. Okay. And you, and you know what's, what's, what, what pissed me off? Lo que me molesta es que desde hace horas que estoy usando la computadora, and everything, no había was, and everything was working perfect. And I was like, what? How is that possible? <laughs> ¿Cómo es posible? I mean, and, and you know, like that really pisses me off because uh, it's not something that that happens okay it's like not something happened you know like more often entonces pero bueno creo que eh, estábamos teniendo problemas eh, y estaba pasando asistencia y me había quedado con a uh, Ruth Joana is there yes teacher nah. present okay okay thank you now i listen to you perfectly es que sí, los veía así como medio frisados y creo Curroso. que... Ustedes, uh -huh. Ajá, y ustedes igual a mí. That was, that was weird. But anyways, so let's continue. Let's see. We got Sara Carolina. She's not here yet, right? No, okay. mm, Stephanie Lisette. No here. Vanessa Odette. Is it here? No, right. No, okay. And William Alberto. Present. Hi, William. It's good to see you again. Oh, good to hear from you again. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Long time, right? Nah, it's like like two weeks, right? Without without classes, without having classes. Yeah, it was like a long time. Let's see, and Roxana Yesenia is not here, and Nubia Zulema. It's good to have you here again, Nubia. Teacher, sorry. Yes, tell me. Uh, one question. Uh, yeah. Tell, tell me, me. You, tell me your name, please. <laughs> yes, I'm, I'm about to present <laughs> myself. Iba a present, auto presentarme cuando de repente, in white, like. Everything. Come on. My name is Juan Carlos, and I'm really sorry because I had to do that before. But I want to Thank show so like like my profile in a presentation. That's why. Just give me a second. I'm not sure. Okay, no problem. I'm Thank you. Show it right now. You're welcome, Mister. I'm gonna show it right now. Give me a second. Okay. This one, the one I need. To show you. Okay, give me a second. Yes, this is the presentation that I want to show you because, as in every module, you know, we have to like provide some indications to you what we are allowed to do and what we are not allowed to do. Okay, so I'm going to share this presentation. For you to be clear with that. Okay. Just confirm, please, if you can see my presentation. Can you see the presentation? Yes. Okay, thank you. Yes, teacher. Yes. So remember, this course is called English for Work Program. Okay. You know, like sponsored by uh, InsaForb. Okay, and this is the basic module number four. Okay, two more modules besides this one, and we finish the basic. Okay, so and my complete name is Juan Carlos Hernandez Mahano. Okay, and I am going to be your facilitator in this course. All right, so welcome, people, and it is good to, to have you here. So Right now, we're going to start up with some, like, you know, like general things. This is my profile. So you can see, all right, just to get to know each other. Solo para que, pues, nos vayamos conociendo un poco. All right, this is part of my, you know, like, uh, academic formation and, and my experience, right, as a, uh, working as a teacher. So this is just, just for you to get to know with me, all right, since we have, we're going to be, like, in here for four weeks. It is really good 
that you know me and I have to know you, right? Of course. So this is based part of my, you know, like academic formation, as I told you. Okay. Okay, Nuria, thank you. <laughs> and that is part of my experience, right? So this is just just a general 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 thing, okay? Just for us, as I told you, to get to know each other, okay? Good. Right after you watch this, let's look. Let's take a look at some of the rules that you people have to take into account in the development of this course. Give me a second. Okay. Vamos a hablar un poco. I'm gonna switch to Spanish because this is in Spanish, right? Just for, for us to get to know. Estos son básicamente los requerimientos que son pedidos del INSAFOR. Okay, entonces es como, son los lineamientos que nos han pedido que eh, los participantes, en este caso ustedes, uh, tienen que seguir. Okay. El, primer, el primero de los requerimientos es que al conectarse, ustedes escriban el nombre completo. Ok, al conectarse a Zoom. Igual, en el caso de oyentes, ok, a agregar la palabra oyente luego de su nombre. Ok, y en este caso vamos a tener dos, dos, dos personas oyentes. And that's pretty cool. Eh, la cámara, igual, es un requerimiento eh, que se mantenga encendida en toda la sesión. ¿Por qué? Porque cada una de estas clases, Insafor las audita. Entonces, ¿qué es lo que pide Insafor? Simplemente pide que mantengamos nuestras cámaras encendidas para poder identificar qué es la persona que está inscrita, ¿okay? la persona correcta que está recibiendo la clase. ¿okay? Eso es básicamente eh, la razón por la cual Insafor pide que mantengamos las cámaras encendidas. ¿okay? Eh, otro aspecto, igual, minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible. ¿Por qué? Porque a veces, eh, entonces hay pequeñas conversaciones que no queremos, uh, o sea, no queremos ventilar por ahí, pero que pues a veces se nos olvida tener el micrófono apagado y a veces regañamos a la esposa o regañamos al esposo. Entonces, sí, no, ¿verdad? Es como que... No, no, no hay que, no que exhibirlos. <risa> Hasta ahí lo vamos a dejar. Entonces, igual, para cuando estemos eh, eh, explicando algo o un compañero esté hablando, igual, ¿verdad? Eh, mantener el micrófono apagado eh, por, para evitar cualquier, digamos, interrupción en el proceso. Y, pues, una de las cosas también que, que es evaluada es la participación activa. Creo que igual... Uh, con las que he venido trabajando en los módulos anteriores, igual son bastante participativos, son activos, y pues sé que los nuevos integrantes igual lo son. Entonces creo que ahí no vamos a tener ningún, ningún problema, ¿ok? En cuanto a participación. Recuerden otro aspecto igual que eh, eso es ya como requerimiento de la clase, ¿vale? Eh, igual, toda vez que usted tenga dudas, sobre lo que se está dando, por favor, por más mínima que sea, no se quede con la duda. Usted encienda su micrófono y consúlteme, ¿ok? Siempre pregunte, nunca se queden con esa duda. ¿Por qué? Porque a veces en las tareas es donde fallamos, ¿ok? A veces uno, uno dice, ah, le debía haber preguntado al, al, al teacher en ese momento, ahora no sé cómo hacer esto. Entonces, y para evitar ese tipo de, de inconvenientes y para que obviamente todo quede claro, así que cualquier duda, por mínima que sea, por favor, me, me, me lo hacen saber. All right, let's keep going. Ahora bien, vamos a leer un poco acá. En cuanto a la asistencia, Nubia, ayúdenme a leer esa parte. Ok, teacher. Asistencia al cimiento de las clases. La asistencia no solamente se toma al estar presente, sino también a cumplir con las clases completas. No, la asistencia okay. se... Continúe, continúe. Sí. 
la asistencia se toma en tres ocasiones, a las 8, a las 9 y 9.55 pm. Se tomará como válida al escuchar al participante decir presente, present o presente y wow. tener cámara encendida. Perfecto. Y sesiones uno a uno disponibles. Cada participante se ha asignado 10 minutos al finalizar cada clase para aclarar dudas con su facilitador. Permisos no disponibles. Nah, muy bien. Bien, en cuanto a la asistencia, Insafor igual. Eh, eh, es una de las cosas que siempre ha, ha querido en sus participantes y es que en la asistencia, por lo menos tener, o sea, un, es como un mínimo, de un, o sea, de un 80%, no porque lo requerido es 100% okay, uh, de asistencia en las clases. Y la asistencia, pues, igual. Digamos que en este caso, como lo dice el aspecto 2, la asistencia no solamente se toma al estar presente, sino también al cumplir con la clase completa. ¿Por qué? Porque la asistencia se toma en tres ocasiones. Se va a tomar a las 8 en punto al iniciar la clase, 9 en punto cuando tengamos ya eh, la mitad de la clase, de la sesión, y al finalizar la clase igual. Entonces serán en tres ocasiones. Igual creo que eso ya, eh, ya lo hemos venido viendo en los módulos anteriores. Igual, tenemos dos métodos para poder contestar cuando estemos pasando asistencia, ya sea presente o present. In this case, it's like both of them are present. But in that case, one it has to be in English. All right? In this case, it's like, you know, like present. Tell me, uh, Eric. Sorry, teacher. Uh, me dice Hilmar que, que ha tenido problemas ahorita para conectarse por, por cuestión de trabajo, que se va a conectar otro momento, que le informara. No. Okay, thank you. Okay, sorry. Thank you. All right. So in this case, like, eh, lo más recomendable para nosotros, ya que pues estamos en módulo 4, igual, en vez de presente, digan present, because that's in English, right? Y luego, la, en cuanto a las sesiones uno a uno disponibles, al finalizar cada clase, al finalizar cada clase, eh, yo me voy a quedar con uno de ustedes por 10 minutos. ¿Cuál es la finalidad de ello? Simplemente es retroalimentar los temas o el tema de esa clase que probablemente eh, no haya quedado del todo claro. Entonces ahí nos sirve para aclarar dudas que podamos tener con respecto a esa clase de ese día o clases anteriores. ¿Ok? Entonces eh, eh, para eso son las sesiones uno a uno. Y pues acá está como la... la Mala noticia a veces, y a veces yo quedo como malo, pero es, es algo que, que nos dicen que hagan y pues que hagamos y ni modo, no podemos, ¿verdad? Que en cuanto a permisos, ahí sí los permisos no están disponibles. Entonces, si eso ya es por lineamiento de Insafor, entonces de ahí ya, ya no está en nuestras manos como, o como, you know, like, como podríamos mencionar. Entonces, esto es en cuanto a la asistencia ok, hasta acá todo está claro o tenemos alguna pregunta, do we have any questions everything is clear no, yes ok, perfect, let's continue ok, tareas y evaluaciones Maritza, ayúdeme a leer, leer el primer aspecto por favor, el primer punto Tareas y evaluaciones. Es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso satisfactoriamente. Gracias, Maritza. Ya, yeah, en okay. este caso, como bien lo dice, como mínimo, es necesario obtener el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones. ¿Qué significa esto? que tenemos que tener la mayoría de tareas realizadas en la plataforma. Ahora eh, sí, este, vamos a tener igual el, la sección de discusión. Esta sí la vamos a hacer ahora todos los días. ¿okay? Este día igual pues vamos a ver cómo comenzamos para ya el día de mañana estar activo sobre la clase que se va a ver. Pero esto lo voy a explicar un poco más adelante. Entonces, ¿qué significa esto? 
Recuerden que en la plataforma tenemos seccionado por semanas. Section 1, semana 1. Section 2, semana 2. Hasta la section 4. Entonces, en cada sección están las cinco tareas que corresponden a, a cada semana. Entonces, pues, tenemos que tenerlas completas, al igual que el examen de medio curso, que recuerden, eso se hace eh, al finalizar la segunda semana. Ok. Uh, let's continue. Let's see. Fátima, help me a reading, please. Las tareas se encuentran en la plataforma, justo después de cada clase. Ok, gracias, Fátima. Ya, yeah, en este caso, eh, cada una de las tareas, como ya vemos, hemos visto en la plataforma anteriormente, como hemos trabajado en los módulos anteriores, al finalizar cada clase, pues ya, estar, ya estaría disponible ahí la tarea. El siguiente día, ok, por ejemplo, si ahora terminamos ya la clase, ya para mañana, probablemente antes del mediodía, ya esté el video de la videoconferencia. Recordemos que primero está el video y después está la, la tarea 1, que en este caso sería ya a partir de, que la podríamos hacer a partir de eh, la finalización de, de esta clase. Okay. Eh, lo más recomendable que yo o sea, le digo a mis estudiantes siempre, aunque algunos igual prefieren hacerlo todo al, al, en, 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 a última hora, es de que hagamos si termino la clase ahora, a más tardar mañana antes de la clase, ya tener eh, hecha la tarea, ¿por qué? porque al final, a veces cuando ya se llega el último día y se nos han acumulado las cinco tareas ahí me van a tener a mí hola Jorge, ¿por qué no he hecho la tarea? por favor hágala, si no sé que necesito la nota suya para poderle enviar, entonces Jorge va a estar así como que ah, Aquí está el teacher, pero molestándome a cada rato. Entonces, Ever. no, right? Ever. <ríe> Impossible, right? Ever. <ríe> Entonces, eh, yo lo que, lo que recomiendo es que clase terminada, luego se hace la tarea antes de que la otra clase inicie. Entonces, así, ya cuando se llega a la clase 5, tarea 5, fácilmente en 5 o 10 minutos ustedes ya la han hecho. Entonces, y ahí estamos ya completos, right? Complete. Okay. Uh, and next, let's see. Ever, help me read reading the next point, please. Eh, todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, mm -hmm. ya que ese registro es enviado a Insaform semanalmente. Ah, okay. Very good. Listen up. Listen. En este caso, vamos a omitir esa sección donde dice cada viernes. ¿Por qué? Porque en este caso, si recordamos, hemos iniciado un jueves. Entonces, lo que significa que hoy vamos a hacer, o sea, prácticamente solamente dos sesiones esta semana. El lunes sería sesión 3, el martes videoconferencia 4, el miércoles sería videoconferencia 5. Lo que significa que nosotros estaríamos terminando la semana, ¿ok? El miércoles. Por lo tanto, el miércoles, a más tardar que después de clase o cuando mucho, a medianoche, ya tendría que tener las cinco tareas realizadas, ¿ok? Ahí simplemente, eh, eh, digamos que el último, que sería el, jue el miércoles, perdón, Des, eh, tocaría hacerla después de clase, la tarea 5. De ahí por lo demás, pues ya las demás van a tener un poco más de tiempo para poderlas eh, realizar. Pero entonces terminaríamos la semana el día miércoles. ¿Ok? That would be the day. Ok. Uh, Jorge, ayúdeme a leer por favor el próximo punto. La fecha límite para terminar el examen medio o middle day. Es miércoles 29 de septiembre, uh -huh. antes de la medianoche. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Perfecto. Entonces, ¿qué significa? Que para esa fecha nosotros tenemos que hacer el examen de medio curso o midterm, que es básicamente para evaluar qué tanto hemos aprendido durante las primeras dos semanas. Ok. That's the midterm form. Entonces, esa es la finalidad del midterm. Ok. 
para ver qué tanto hemos aprendido. Ahí, pues, ya es una evaluación de las, de las dos semanas, ¿ok? Y entonces, esa sería la fecha en la cual nosotros tenemos que eh, hacerlo. Miércoles 29 de septiembre, ¿ok? Antes de la medianoche. ¿Por qué? Porque poco antes de la medianoche yo tengo que enviar esas notas al Insafor. Bien, a uh, Carla, help me a reading, please. Ok, teacher. Um, la fecha límite para terminar el examen final, final exam, es el miércoles 13 de octubre antes de la medianoche. Ah, muy bien. Gracias, Carla. Ese es el examen final. Ok. Recordemos que igual, junto con el desarrollo de las tareas, vamos a tener ese día, que es cuando finalizamos eh, el curso, vamos a tener que hacer el examen final. Ahí pues ya vienen eh, temas de todo el curso. Y pues van a poder tener todo el día para poderlo desarrollar. ¿Ok? Ahí lo vamos a poder uh, desarrollar. So, let's continue with the next uh, aspect. So let's see who can help me a reading. Margot, help me a reading, please. Ok. El manual puede ser descargado de la plataforma. No se utiliza material de terceros en ninguna sesión. Nah, ok. Very good. Thank you. Sí, el manual puede ser descargado de la plataforma. Ok. Eh, de otra manera que, se puede, que puede ser descargado es a través del grupo de WhatsApp. Eh, una pregunta, por cierto ¿Quién no está agregado al grupo de WhatsApp de los que estamos acá? Who is not in there? Ah, just Nubia sí. Ok, Nubia uh, And you, Jorge, you, you are not uh, yes. joined? Ok Cuando termine acá eh, eh, la pequeña presentación acá sobre los requerimientos eh, voy a enviar el link de WhatsApp en la cual ustedes se pueden unir al grupo, ok? Acá en el chat de Zoom. Okay, perfecto. Ajá, luego de ello voy a reenviar de nuevo el manual por si no lo tienen. Si no lo tienen en PDF. Lo recomendable es que si tienen la oportunidad o, o de, poder de, este, de poder imprimir el manual, sería más que perfecto, ok? Porque así, de, digamos que tienen ya en físico para poder, lo tienen en físico para poder desarrollar las actividades que ahí vamos a, a, a estar uh, haciendo. Ok, that would be one aspect. Good. So, let's keep going. Bien, y estos ya acá son algunos aspectos generales de la plataforma Zoom. Creo que ya eh, muchos lo conocemos. El botón de silencio o mute. La cámara, chat, breakout rooms, que son básicamente los que vamos a estar Utilizando los breakout rooms es cuando los mandamos a trabajar por secciones de grupos, ¿ok? En, y el botón de ask for help, que aparece igual a un lado cuando estamos en secciones cortas. Ese botón lo pueden, eh, pueden hacer uso de él cuando tengan alguna pregunta y ya estemos en secciones de grupo y yo no esté ahí. Entonces, como oprimir ese botoncito, igual me mandan una notificación y automáticamente yo entro a su sección para resolver cualquier uh, inconveniente que puedan tener. Bien, ¿alguna pregunta hasta acá? Or everything is okay. For the moment, no. It's everything is okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. So, I'm going to stop sharing this part. And let's continue with the development of the topics for today. In a second. Bien, permítanme, ahorita voy a enviarles el link del grupo de WhatsApp para que se puedan unir para los que no están unidos. I'm going to send it through here. Ahí lo tienen. Para los que no están unidos, entonces, lo pueden hacer a través de ese enlace. Okay. Me confirman, por favor, cuando ya se hayan unido para poder reenviar el manual, por si no lo tienen. Right now. 
Ok, me lo hacen saber entonces. You have already finished those things. In the meantime, I'm going to upload this. What we got for this class. Okay. Okay, this is going to be the topic that we're going to have for the first class, okay, of uh, today. Let's give me a second. All right, thank you, Nubia. You are already there. So I'm going to send the, the manual. There you go. Si no lo tiene Nubia el manual, ahí está, okay? So people, this is the video conference number one, and the topic for tonight is how to use count and non count nouns, all right? That is the topic, all right, for tonight. How to use count and non count nouns. What is this? Count nouns are like countable nouns and non count nouns are uncountable nouns, okay? Creo que este tema, y igual ya lo discutimos, si no me equivoco, el módulo pasado, solo que lo vimos de una manera un tanto general. And like, like today we're going to focus the most on questions about countable and uncountable nouns. Using uh, questions, how much and how many. All right, that's going to be focused on. So what do we got for uh, like the main points for this class, like the class agenda? So I got the welcome to, to all of you, all right? To the participants, questions to discuss. When I have some questions to discuss, right after I finish this slide, then we're going to have a vocabulary practice, okay? After the vocabulary practice, we are going to have, all right, the introduction of how much and how many with counts and uncountable nouns, okay? And then we're gonna move to the manual to work in some exercises there, okay? Related to, you know, like countable and uncountable nouns. Remember, if you have questions, please let me know, okay? And I'm going to be speaking like kind of a slow because, listen up, Puesto que ya estamos en un módulo, ya, o sea, módulo 4, eh, ya vamos a evitar ese 50-50, English and Spanish, right? Ahora va a ser 80% English, 20% Spanish, ok? A menos, listen up, a menos que no me comprendan las palabras o algo que, que esté diciendo, entonces me lo hacen saber, so I can switch to Spanish, right? Pero si no, igual, let's keep it in English. ¿Por qué? Porque esa es la forma en cómo vamos a ir poco a poco. You know, like getting fluency, getting vocabulary, and getting more practice. Okay? That's the idea. So, let's keep going. Igual, uh, si sienten que voy muy rápido o si no están entendiendo del todo, just let me know, okay? In that case, I will switch into Spanish. So let's continue. Questions to discuss. Let's start up with some questions. And the first one is, uh, Eric, help me out reading. What do you like to buy when you go shopping? Okay, very good. What do you like to buy when you go shopping? Okay, I want you to start up thinking about what do you like to buy when you go when you go shopping? What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you go shopping? ¿Cuáles son esas esas cosas cotidianas o cosas que nos gusta comprar cuando vamos? Okay, cuando vamos de compra, ¿qué es? Right? I think, uh -huh, I think the, the coffee. I think coffee. 
coffee. Why coffee? Uh, Eric? All, always, uh, always. Always? Um, coffee, uh, top, top. <laughs> okay. Starbucks. Starbucks, no. Ah, for um, Starbucks it's too expensive. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, oh, yeah, and that's only for people from there, from the capital. Here in Oriente, <laughs> we don't have we don't have those things. <laughs> Sadly, uh, yeah. I mean, there's no Starbucks in here. Ah, by the way, yeah. Eh, los demás me hacen algo un tanto de bullying los que tenía el, el, el curso anterior para los nuevos. It's just, it's just as a reference. Uh, solo porque soy de San Miguel me molestan. <laughs> 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 so if you want to add you, no problem. Really? Yes, man. I'm from San Miguel. Okay. <laughs> it's a good place. <laughs> yes, it's a, yeah, Jorge. a little hot in here, but yeah, it's a good place. Yeah, I travel for the San Miguel and the uh, very, very hot place. Yes. But yes. yeah, like we got accustomed to the to the weather in here. I guess all of you are from if I'm not wrong, you're from San Salvador, right? In your case, Jorge, right, are Santa, you, you're, you're from Santa, Santa Teca City. Now, okay, cool. Yeah, How about you, right. Maritza? Nice. What, teacher? Where are you? Uh, where do you live? In there, in San Salvador? Uh, I live in Santa Tecla. Ah, Santa Tecla with, with Jorge? That's cool. Are you co-workers? No. No? No. no. But, but you know it's uh, no uh Amarixa uh, is the partner for the the last last uh, model ah, from the last uh, module really yes yeah. yes nice okay but you both live in Santa Tecla that's cool okay uh okay. how about you Margot I live in San Salvador now ah, okay cool you're from there. Uh, and how about Ruth? Where do you live, Ruth? I live in Cotepeque. Oh, okay, nice. All of you are from, from the center of the country. That's nice. In this module, in this module, uh, Marixa, Margot, Ruth, and me, and the last module. Ah, you're from, the, from the last module? Really? Ah, okay. Yes. That's, that's yeah. cool. So you four, okay, that's that's cool because you know each other. You have been working each other, that's nice. Yes. And from yes. the previous yes. module in here, do we, we got like William, Romeo, that is, okay. Está que no lo veo? Ay, ay, <laughs> okay, uh, we got Carla, Nubia, Eric, Fatima, and Ever. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I mean, so all good. of them are, yeah, I mean, all of them are, are, are like, you know, like, from the same module, right? That was finishing like two weeks ago, if I'm not wrong. It's okay, perfect, thank you. Yes, okay, cool, let's continue. So Eric, that's the first thing that you think when you go to buy to the supermarket or any anywhere else, coffee. Coffee. Okay. Um, but in San Miguel, uh, Come on, man. sell more, sell more uh, Cita Negra. Yes, man, the pupusas. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. Just, just, uh, yeah, I mean, just let me know when you come to San Miguel again. <laughs> okay, let's let's start up. Uh, Jorge, how about you? Um, in shopping, depend, depend. Um, is the small but the food and mm -hmm. shoes maybe <laughs> nah, okay uh, uh -huh. sometimes and, 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 and dress uh, for me is the more important for the, the food mm -hmm. yeah i mean food is like like the primary the main thing okay cool william how about you um, I like to buy a soda. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. And what, food. Aha. Uh -huh. What kind of soda do you like to buy the most? Uh, the mark. Huh? The marker. 
Yeah, yeah, the brand, the, brand, the name. Uh -huh. uh, the, especially the cyborg. No. Uh -huh. uh -huh. The flavor. Uh -huh. um, no, okay, cool. And you said full, right? Yeah. No, okay, very good, William. So Nubia, how about you? I saw you that you that you were. I heard that you were uh, saying uh, as Eddie like coffee, right? But besides coffee, what else do you like buying when you go shopping? <laughs> I like to buy uh, sandals, shoes, shoes. <laughs> yeah, that's normal, right, young women? <laughs> Very normal. Yeah. No, okay. I like to buy um, ice cream. No, cool. Yes, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I got a long time without eating ice cream. Probably tomorrow I'm gonna buy some. <laughs> okay, Nuya. <yeah. laughs> Thank you. So okay. let's see. Uh, uh -huh. Maritza, how about you? Um, when I go to the shopping, Always like to buy a subway. Subway. Mm. Nice. Nice. I remember the first time, for real. I had never got through a very, very, I, I don't know even how to say that. Like, like, I was really embarrassed the first time I went to a subway. It was in Usulotan. I was like, ¿Qué clase de pan quiere? And I was like, what? <laughs> es, es literal como que se me cayó sin la cara. Es como que iba a decirle pan francés. Y... <laughs> That was funny. Del corriente. That was funny. Yeah, I mean, from, from el corriente. <laughs> uh, people that are not get used to uh, buying those things. Okay, besides Subway, Maritza, what else? Um... In the other thing, supermarket. No, okay. Uh, clothes. Clothes? Shoes. No, okay. Nice. Yeah, I mean, um, women are mostly like, like, like buying like clothes, shoes. I don't know if men do that like as well in my case. I think it was last year I bought a pair of shoes. I got like three there in a, and those are like the only ones I use. I mean, I said like, why do I have to buy another another pair of shoes? I mean, I got three of them in there. And I just need a, a two pairs of shoes that are formal, you know, like to work and that's it. <laughs> and women are, women are different. Yeah, women, women says like, I don't, I don't have any shoes to put on my feet. And they got like 20 or 30 pairs of shoes in there. But women are like that. <laughs> women are like that. Yeah, I, it's, it's I, a uh, I, Nubia, Nubia is a clear example. For real, it's, it's like horrible for me when my wife tells me, hey, look, I need a new pair of shoes. Let's go, <laughs> let's, please, let's go with me. And I was like, no, please, no. <laughs> She spends like four hours for one pair of shoes. Nah, that's a nightmare. <laughs> okay, Marisa, thank you. Now, Margot, how about you? Hi, teacher. Hi, Margot. Perdón, puedo pedir permiso porque estoy, tengo que entregar un trabajo mañana de que estoy identificando unas plantas entonces solo para presenciar y escuchar teacher por ah, ok ok Margot, no problem <laughs> ok no problem there you go yes, thank you ok cool Carla how about you um, I like to buy um, coffee teacher coffee really you yes um Ice cream. Um, I like to go the 
Dollar City. I always got a boring thing. You did know I need it. Uh -huh. Jesus Christ. You know what, Carla? From the list that you mentioned, what do I really uh, hate the most is like going to El Dollar City. Because if El I got, siempre me dice lo que yo necesito. Because if I had ten dollars in my pocket, for real, I spend the ten dollars there. <laughs> and, I, and sometimes we spend money in there on things that we don't need. Yeah. On things that we don't need. That's exactly <laughs> what we go to there. That's why I don't like going. To you know, dice, no sabía que necesitaba esto, pero lo llevo. <laughs> last 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 week I went I went with my wife, and you know what? I had like twenty dollars in my pocket. I remember, and for real, I spent I spent the twenty dollars on very unnecessary things, and, and and I have promised that I will never go again because I mean, you buy there things that you don't need, and I don't know why. I mean, <laughs> you cannot change that. I always said, no, I'm not gonna spend money on useful things, and I do it at the end impossible not to waste your money there <laughs> all right carla how about you ever hi teacher i don't know hi. i uh, uh, maybe running running accessories uh -huh. um some, what about, ga some what about, gadget what about uh, cups Man, when you uh, don't, when you don't have your cap on for real, you look different. <laughs> and I was like, is that ever? <laughs> ever with no cap? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um yeah. I'm, I'm unnecessary things too in the Dollar City when you enter to Dollar City <laughs> and, and you try to search. A specific thing, and you carry other things. Uh, how do you say? Evito entrar a esa zona, a yeah. esos lugares. Porque <laughs> I me, avoid me... entering to that place, to that place or places like that. Sí, <laughs> sí. Yeah. For oh, yeah, that's that's true. And 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 go. And coffee, like like Eric, like like ah. Eric, uh, uh, the coffee too. No, okay, yes, man. It must, it must have yeah, I, thank you. I cosas que, like, you know, like there are things in a lot of there are things now that are like for, for uh, Halloween and for Christmas. Just imagine we got three months, for three months for Christmas, and now you can find things uh, related to Christmas in a lot <laughs> That's, I mean, that. Yeah, I mean, that company makes everything for, for getting your money. <laughs> and they get your money. <laughs> okay, uh, Fatima, how about you? Mm, I'd like to buy food. No, okay. Uh -huh. And shoes and clothes. Ah, and clothes. Okay, and by food, Fatima, what, what, what kind of food? Do you usually buy mm. healthy food like vegetables, fruits, or junk food like hamburgers, pizza, you know, French fries? No, no uh, and supermarket. Mm -hmm. ah, is... yeah, it's like, uh -huh. it's food. like more like healthy food, right? Like, yeah, food. Okay, mm -hmm. nice. And you don't like to buy shoes and sandals and clothes like, like Nubia does and, and the rest of the girls? Sandals. My God. I'm not going to ask how many pairs of sandals do you have in your, uh, in, your, in, your, in your room because there are a lot of sandals, right? <laughs> a lot of Just... them. A lot of them. Oh. <laughs> no. Thank you, Foco. Uh -huh. okay, okay. <laughs> let, 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 let's put it that way. Uh -huh. Okay, good. Ana Maria, are you there? 
Ana María. Yes, teacher. I'm, Apar I'm bitter. A aparte de que vienen tarde, bien calladita. No me van a sí. escuchar. Hi, Ana María. Uh -huh. Welcome. Thank ya you. se extrañaban, Anita. Uh -huh. Sí, me agarró súper la tarde. Terminé muy tarde mi trabajo. Who is Anita? I just see Marita here. No. Anita. No. no. <laughs> How was your birthday, Ana María? Uh, yeah, yeah. Good? good? No, okay. With my family. Yeah, that's nice. That's really mm -hmm. cool. Okay. Yeah. That's great. Mm -hmm. All right, Ana. Um, just to get to know, like, we're talking about that question, right? We are discussing that question on the, on the screen. So get to know mm -hmm. a few minutes for you to, to, to tell me your answer, okay? Or your opinion about that. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see who's next. I think Ruth. You there, Ruth? Ah, yes. Uh -huh. Tell me. Uh, I like to buy uh, shoes, clothes, uh -huh. cosmetic, and food. Nah. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's normal for women, for real. Like shoes, clothes. Makeup and everything, right? It's a kit for the survivor. Exactly. That's yes, it. yes. It's a women kit. Yes. <laughs> okay, that's, that's that's nice. That's good. Thank you, Ruth. And Romeo. How about you, Romeo? Welcome, Romeo. Long time without seeing you. Hi, Dicha. Good, Hi, man. good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> no, we're bien despierto ya. Good evening. Ah, tell me, Romeo. Um, la reacción de Eric estaba viendo que bien feliz lo veo. Yes, he's really happy. Uh, um, I like I buy um this year. Um, shirts, okay. Mm -hmm. What else? Uh, eat. Yeah. El, no, quiero ver. No, más que todo. Eh, eh, eat, 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 eat pizza. Ah, okay. Pizza. Uh -huh. Y, y, go. Man, yeah. but you don't, but you don't, don't from, family? okay, like you go out with family, okay, but Romeo, family, so the how often, okay, how often do you eat pizza a week, like one time, two times, three times, how many times a week? Um, frequently, frequently, sí. really, frequently, mm -hmm. man, but, um, but, but you, you look like, 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 Thin, like no, no, like, 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 kind of, you know, chubby. If I eat pizza more often, for real, I get fat, fat, and fat. Yeah, um, for real. Que, <laughs> intermedia para mí, intermedio. <laughs> now you know what? I'm starting on a diet. Now it's like, like, kind of suffering for me. Like I, would, I have been into, you know, like desperation because I have started a, a, a diet. And one of the things that I have, I have been avoiding is eating junk food, like pizza, hamburgers, you know, like hot dogs and all those things, and sodas. And, but the most difficult things that I'm avoiding and I'm fighting to, you know, like to avoid is with bread. And I love, I love bread. Pero el pan es lo que más me está costando dejar. For real. Yeah. For real. For real. But that's cool, Romeo. That's, that's really nice. Okay, thank you. Now, the last person to participate before I go into the attendance list, Ana Maria. How about you? Eh, I love I, the list and the. Yeah, but let's start with option. the first one. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Let's start with the first one. What number you... one is shoes. Ah. Shoes. Number oh. one shoes. Why shoes? Mm. 
¿Por qué los zapatos? Yes. Why, why, porque why soy like number one? Porque I love her. my ah, shoes. No, so Different. You love, you love kind shoes. shoes. Ajá. Está okay. con alto, mediano, más alto, botas. <laughs> Tengo muchos zapatos. <laughs> ok. Ok. All right. Y me regalan zapatos también. Ah, nice. Nice. Mm -hmm. cool. eh, de ahí makeup, makeup. makeup. Yeah. Mm -hmm. nice. Aunque ahora ya no, porque hoy sí ya no me maquillo, yo estoy al natural porque ya no voy al trabajo. Entonces, como no there, me ven los clientes. In your house there, I was like using makeup no. para ir por el pan. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. And the three. Option es de full, full, pero eh, en, en, el, en el del super, o sea, del supermercado. When, ah. when in the supermarket, no, nah. uh -huh. like fruits, ah. vegetables, beans, yeah, all the necessary things, right? Okay, mm -hmm. that's nice, mm -hmm. that's really nice, Ana Maria. Okay, good. I'm going to stop a little bit in here because it's 9.09. I'm going to pass the attendance list the second time, and then we can continue, okay, with the development of these things. Give me a second. I'm going to stop uh, uh, for a moment. Oh, it's está serio, Eric. Yes, very Eric. serious. Porque es lo que pasa que en la primera clase uno tiene que estar tranquilo. No, nosotros somos reales. Eh. Siempre vamos a molestar. Amita, quiere vender según él de la mejor nah. canción. It's because nah. we have new, new people, like, you know, like we got. Uh, eh, like, ¿Series? Like, uh, yeah. We got like one. ¿Cuántos? Two, three, four. four. Four people right up to four. now. But we have more. Obviously, we got like. 13 new people. Yes, we have a lot of people. Okay, let's continue. Let's see with the attendance list. Ana Claribel. Hey, Ana is not, not here. Ana Maria. I'm here. Okay. Carlos Ademir. It's not connected, right? Okay, I think he's not going to connect. Give me a second. I'm going to check this part. Eric Guillermo. Present teacher. Okay. Ever de Jesus. Present. Okay. Fatima Alejandra. Present. Nice. Hilmar Cruz. Yeah, Hilmar got problems, right? He's not connecting yet. Jonathan Alexander is not here yet. No. Jorge Elvir. Present. No, okay, very good. Yeah, Carla Benacer. Present. Nice. Margaret Hernandez. Yeah, she's there, right? But she's in a present. Present, oh. teacher. <laughs> okay, okay, thank you. Uh, let's see. Maritza Alcira. I'm here, teacher. Okay, thank you. Natalie Vanessa. I probably should forget that today was it was a class. But I'm a text. Uh, Rosa del Carmen. No here, right? Romeo Alexis. Prensa teacher. Okay. Good. Ruth Joanna. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Sara Carolina. It's not here. Stephanie Lisset is not here. Vanessa Odette. Mm -hmm. No here, right? Okay, let's see. William Alberto. Present. Okay, thank you, William. Let's see. Rosana Yesenia is not here. And Nubia Zulema. Present, teacher. Okay, cool. ¿Y por qué está de último Nubia? Ah, ¿Tiene I castigada, don't... Anita? I don't know. <laughs> yes, I mean... It's because he's a bad person. Nah, no, no. She's not. No, lo que pasa es que no me inscribieron cuando tocaba. Y hasta hoy lo hicieron. ¿Qué? 
Pele. Ya le di a Seth, novia. La ah, vi sí. por allá. Sí, sí, gracias. Ok. Le, le hace falta the last one, ¿verdad, teacher? Which one? ¿Y Salvador? Mm. Nah, he's se, se, va a casar. Vida. He's, se va a casar. He's getting married. That's why he's not going to continue. Se va a casar. Por yes. más que lo aconsejamos. Es, es, es el de los panes. Yo, yo le dije. Eh, see the teacher. Le, ah, hey, the hey, teacher hey. is the bad influencers. Hey. Why? <laughs> uh, just because I got married? Ah, come on. <laughs> And you know what? Now that I porque got... se va a casar, ya no va a venir. Ah, es que las noches tiene que aprovecharlas. Obviously, you know. Va a encargar un baby igual que el teacher. Hey. <laughs> and, uh, you, and you know what? It's pretty close. It's pretty close. It's like... No, ya, ya, ya déjenlo porque It's solo vamos a ver el ginazo. Sí. Nah, it's el ginazo. It's, it's, pre it's predicted to, to get born on... Uh, on the second week of October, probably. So it's pretty close. And I'm like kind of nervous because, you know, like this, this, this is the first one and let's see what happened. Tenga yeah, lista la maleta ya del de, de bebé y la teacher. Yes, thank you. Uh, I, uh, I got it already. We got it already. Yes. La maleta de ella y la de bebé. Ah, la cámara. Yes. Just let's see what happened. Yeah, Aprovecha I mean, a dormir usted, porque ya después no mire, va a dormir. Sí, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, to... I'm gonna show you here like the Lion King, like this. Uh, look, this is a male. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, let's continue. Yeah, but Eric, tell Salvador that don't forget the shirts that he promised me to send. Ah, okay. Yo, uh, yeah. yo le digo. Tell him. Okay. Que no lo he olvidado, dígale. Ah, bueno. ¿A, a él o a la camisa? No, to the church. <laughs> no, okay. no, como él las prometió, así que dígale que está pendiente. Ok, yo le digo, teacher. Okay. Mañana, mañana lo veo. All right. Ok, there you go. Let's start out with some vocabulary words, people. Since this is just countable Hacerlo, and countable now, este, remember? Sí, necesito que verifiques cómo está la compra ahorita de Ethereum. Si está arriba de 120, intenta comprar unas 40 unidades. Y las manos no, no, en ese, Está abajo. Está, está, está abajo de eso. Gracias. Good, man. More, more. Creo que that. subió. Yes. No, 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 el bit el, el, el como 57 ayer. Yo creo que sí, sí subió. Nice, man. Nice. Nice. I'm going to upload that. <laughs> okay, let's continue, people. So we Sorry. have some, some, vocabulary, some vocabulary words. Okay. Uh, y Jorge, y Jorge just, se queda así de que hablan. Creo que dejé abierto el, te, el micrófono, lo siento. A, a, algo así por el estilo, Jorge. No se hey, preocupe. Hey, you know what, Jorge? Y mire, mire, sí. mire, mire cómo esto, sus compañeritas, en vez de decirle, ok, hey, hey Jorge, they were like paying attention to what you were saying. Sí, ya, two times this, in, two, in this year. Uh, so sorry. Sí. Uh, is the investment by uh, other friends in the crypto, crypto, crypto coins. Nah, that's, very nice. That's, that's nice. That's cool. Yes. Maritza was about okay. to say something. ¿Qué iba a decir, Maritza? Que yo sí le avisé que él estaba escuchando todo. No me fijé cuando me quité los, los audífonos y los puse. Creo que los quité. No problem, Jorge. No problem. Okay, let's continue. Let's just start out with this vocabulary. Okay, let's practice the pronunciation of these words. The first thing that we got is size. Size. Okay. Yeah, size. And size. you got a picture related to that one, right? Right there. Okay, size. What do you think is size for? What is size? My stomach. <laughs> 
like my <laughs> like, like 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 the stomach I want. I I have it's like 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 a huge one. Yeah. And you know what? I I don't drink alcohol and any and, and something related to that. And I got a big, big, big stomach. That's why I'm on a diet. <laughs> oh my Size god. Size yeah. T-shirts. Ah. Ah, okay. Uh huh. It can be related to that too, Maritza. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. So we got it. Remember, size. That's like, like you know, like size or maybe. Okay. The next word is weight. <coughs> Listen up. Weight. Eso. Weight. Yes. You know, it's like related to the ways that we have, the ways that things have, okay? That is ways. Okay, just remember, weight. Next word, price. Precious. Yeah, price from products, okay? Yeah, like, like every product that we buy, they got a price. Okay, that's 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 the thing. Price. You got another one. Dimensions. Dimensions. What is it? It's it's likely related to the word in Spanish. Okay. Dimension. Yeah, or like dimensiones. You know, like. Dimensions. Yeah. Or that's the dimension. And we got another one. Battery. Listen up. Battery life. Battery life. La vida útil de una batería. Exactly. All right. That's like like how much it lasts. Exactly. Like when you charge, it might be your computer, your phone, uh, your even your car. Okay, we got the battery or oh, every every tool that got uh, batteries. So that's battery life. Yeah, like vida útil from a batteria. Okay, this is just part of, of uh, vocabulary that we're gonna put into context with the things that we have. Okay, let's keep going. Storage, there's another one, storage. What is a storage? Ah, that's one. That's one. That's one meaning. And another uh, one. Almost an eye. Exactly. Like when we talk about cell phones, when we talk about computers, storage means what Eric says. Almacenaje. Okay. And storage, like, like related to products and all those things, as Marisa says, it's like, okay, almacenaje. Okay. Or like, you know, like where you put uh, all the products. It can be for your company. Okay, that's the storage. Another one, function. What is it? Function. There you go. Function is like, like every tool is needed for, it has one function. For example, the function of a phone is to send text messages, to make and receive calls, you know, like to send emails, to receive emails, to check social media, okay, like spend time on Facebook, on WhatsApp. Take selfies. Yeah, I mean taking selfies. All right, that's 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 pretty cool. Yeah, I mean I love that people, and I in in you know like it makes me feel like 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 kind of uh, I don't know I don't I don't even know how to say, but. You are not like that, that, that type of people that you post everything that you do. Like, for example, if you go shopping, it's like, I'm shopping. I put a, like something on, on, on WhatsApp or whatever, and I'm eating, and they take a picture to the food. <laughs> that is funny. That's funny sometimes. Yeah, but, but, but people are, are, like, are like that, very technological. Okay, we got another one. Warranty. And we got our five years warranty. One year warranty. What is warranty? Yes, 
Like when you go to a store to buy a product and they give you a warranty, okay? It can be six month warranty, one year warranty, or sometimes when you, you have an extended warranty, it can be up to five years, right? That's, that's like something really important at the moment <coughs> of buying a product. Okay, good. So let's keep going. Extra vocabulary. This one is related to countable nouns, things that we can count. Example, computers, right? Cell phones, what can count cell phones? Jobs, what are jobs? What the word jobs stand for? Let's include it actually. <clears throat> Aha, Maritza? What you were saying is correct. Yes, that's the one. Remember, the differences between job and work is that work is the action, okay. the verb, okay, the action, and job is what you have, like what you work for, okay? Jobs, you can have even one job, two jobs, three jobs, but you can work in those three jobs. So work is the verb, and job is like trabajo, as, as Maritza said. So job is the noun, work is the verb. So don't, don't, like, don't confuse those words, okay? So work is trabajar, the action, and job is trabajo, okay, itself. Uh, jobs uh, también es como tareas, ¿verdad, Picho? Yes, and uh, even though, even though, like when you talk about like like that, like tareas, it's mostly used tasks. La palabra task es más usada en cuanto a tareas o asignaciones. And even a though nivel, it's like, uh -huh. uh, a nivel de, de, de informática, cuando se dejan algunas eh, tareas programadas, también se le, en algunos, en algunos, eh, he usado jobs. Mm -hmm. That's another way. Uh -huh. yeah, and it's really, really common. Both words are really common. Tasks and job. Yes, to relate to tareas. No, okay, we got another yes. one. Desks. Desks. Okay. Remember, desk, it has two meanings. One is escritorio, and the other one is it can, it, it can be a pupitre, like a place where you see it, like when you go to school or an academy and you sit on, on it, all right? It can be both, escritorios or pupitre, okay? Both translations are possible, depending <coughs> on the context. Employees. Listen up, employees. What the word employees stand for? What is employee? Empleados. Yes, Marisa. Empleados. Right? That's <clears throat> plural. That is in plural. Okay. Good. I'm I'm gonna make a pause in here. Give me a second. Uh, who has entered with the name Galaxy 7? Can you please turn on your camera? <laughs> Hello? What? Hey! Ya se fue. Había entrado como Galaxy 7. Bueno. Probably, probably that person is going to add you soon. Bueno, let's continue. Besides employee, we got students. Like right now, you got two functions. One is an employee during the day and you're becoming a student at night, okay, in this module. So we, we can count students. <clears throat> there you go. And we got the last one related to beverages or drinks, sodas, right? Sodas, there's one. Let's continue. Okay, using how much? 
Do you remember how to use how much from the previous module? Did you remember that we were discussing? And for the ones who were not with me, if you remember, there was one part in which you studied how much and how many for countable and uncountable nouns. Okay, we're gonna start up using how much. When do we use how much? Ah, we use how much to talk about uncountable nouns. Yeah, Maritza, you're correct. Okay, with nouns that we cannot count. And what can't we count? We cannot count the water, the battery life, the cost. Sugar. Of something, sugar, uh -huh. what else? Um, water, sand. Uh -huh. Water, sand, uh -huh. there you go. So those are nouns that we cannot count. Okay, let's keep going. And we got some questions, the structure of a question. This is the structure. Vamos a ver de manera general un poquito sobre... ¿Cómo es la estructura que generalmente solemos uh, ocupar para hacer ese tipo de preguntas? Okay? In which we can include, uh, of course, uncountable nouns. We got how much plus uncountable nouns plus do or does. Remember, do, if it goes with I, you, we, and they. Does is for he, she, and it. Okay, plus the subject. Remember, the subject can be I, you, he, she, it, we, you, they, right? The pronouns. Or it can be proper nouns like, like Ana Maria, like Ruth, okay? As an example, proper nouns. And obviously, that's third person. And then we need a verb, okay? A main verb that indicates action. Examples. We got some examples in here. So let's see. Ruth, help me a reading, please. Um, one gallon. Ah, no, no. One gallon. Ruth, just help me a reading the question. Just read the question. Ah, okay. Yes. Uh, who much water do you drink? Okay, let's repeat again, Ruth. How much, repeat. How much water water do you drink? Do you, do you drink? Thank you. Okay, thank you. thank you. Okay, how much water do you drink? We got an answer in here. Look, I drink a lot of water. You can put it this way. If you don't want to be as specific, I drink a lot of water. What what does a lot of water mean? A lot of. Do you remember that expression? A lot of. What is it? Bastante. Okay. Or mucha. Very good, Marisa. Mucha. Yes, that is a lot of. Okay. Podemos contestar de esa forma o being very specific. O podemos contestar de una manera usando contables. How come? I drink one gallon of water. I drink eight glasses of water. You see, it depends on, on how you pretend to answer, okay? You have a variety, different ways to answer to that question. But remember, the word water is uncountable. Another example question. And for this example question, I want William to help me a reading. Okay. The answer. The yes, question. Uh, the question, yes. Much does the computer cost? Now, okay, thank you. How much does the computer cost? Remember, in that case, we are not talking about the computer. We are talking about how much money that computer costs, okay? It's about what? It's about price, the price of the computer. 
Okay? So the answer, Fatima, read it. I it costs mm -hmm. five hundred dollars. Okay, thank you, Fatima. It remember, si no queremos colocar de nuevo la, la palabra the computer or the word computer, simplemente sustituimos la palabra computer for it. Okay, and that's it. We can do that. Okay, we can do that option. So it costs five hundred dollars. And we got it that way, right? Good. Uh, right up to now, do you have any question? Hasta acá tenemos alguna duda, alguna pregunta related to this structure? Something that is not clear for you? Or everything is perfect right up to now? Is it? Okay, cool. Check that out. Si yo digo, ah, está todo claro, entendimos. Miren a Ana María, así como que, okay, it's not with me. No, no. I'm looking for another place, but not in the screen. <laughs> no, sí estoy viendo. Ajá, uh -huh. okay, okay, Ana María. All right, let's see, we have a, ne a, a new integrant in here, a new person. Vanessa Odette. Are you there? Yes, good evening. Hi, Vanessa. Good evening. It's good to have you here. Sorry. Sorry, teacher. Uh, <laughs> uh -huh. Are you on your way home, Vanessa? No, teacher. Okay, but I guess you are not in your house yet. Right, Vanessa? No, okay. I am driving teacher. Ah, that's why, right, yeah. Por eso lo mencionaba, que suponía que no estaba todavía en casa. All right, Vanessa, drive carefully. Vaya con cuidado, okay? And it's, okay. it's good to have you here, right? Qué bueno tenerla acá, okay? Good, so welcome. So let's continue. Let me see, where is the mouse? Uh -huh. No, okay. Cool, let's move on to the next slide. Related to how much? We got an extra examples. Uh, Romeo, help me out reading this question. Don't be sleeping, Romeo. <laughs> yeah, teacher, yeah. Uh -huh. How much time do you spend at work? Okay, thank you, Romeo. How much time do you spend at work? It talks about the period of time in which you start working and you finish in working, okay? Answer, uh, Nubia. I spent eight hours at work. Nah, okay, very good. So I remember in that case, the question is uncountable. Why uncountable? Because you say like how much time, like cuanto tiempo, all right? The question is uncountable, but the answer is countable. Why? Because we can count hours, okay? We can count hours. So that's why it's, it's countable, just the answer. But the question is uncountable. Let's keep going. Go ahead. Help me a reading, please. How much is the price of the cell phone? Now, okay, thank you, Jorge. So you see, this one is different. In this case, we are using the verb to be in the form of is. How much is the price of that cell phone? Right? ¿Cuánto es el precio de ese teléfono? You see? The price. We're using the word price. Ya que ya no usamos el verbo cost. Ya estamos usando, el, eh, eh, okay, the word price. Okay, like, ¿cuánto es el precio de ese, de ese celular? And it says, let me see who is in here that can give us the answer. Ana Maria, let's read the answer. It is $400. Now, okay, it is 
Okay, we can we can answer that way. Let's see another example that we got there. Who has not participated right up to now? Ever, let's read the question. How much traffic is there? Okay, how much traffic is there? How do you interpret that question, Ever? It's like uh, the a lot of cars in the street. <laughs> yeah, right, like the traffic jam. Like that special traffic that is made from San Salvador to, to Santa Ana or from San Salvador passing by Santa Tecla. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that's a nightmare sometimes. All right, but remember the word traffic is uncountable, okay? That's why we say how much traffic because we cannot say one traffic, two traffic, three traffic, all right? That's uncountable. That's why we say like how much traffic, like cuanto trafico, okay? There you go. Let's put this into context. Now, what do I want? If you don't have any question related to this, to this uh, structure, okay? Put it into practice. The words that we were discussing previously, I want you to give me one example of a question using uncountable nouns, okay? Take your notebook, write down one question, okay? Using how much and just read it for me. Let me know when you finish, okay? Let's do it. One example question, using how much? You can use, you know, like uncountable words. You can use like water, milk, food, even the words that we were practicing before, like battery life, that's uncountable word. Just let me know when you finish. Yeah, teacher. Finish? Okay, let's wait for the rest. Only okay. the question. Just the question, remember. Only the question. Okay. Good. Thank you, Novia. Who else has finished? Cool her hair, are you cold? I see you're wearing a sweater or a jacket, it's like that. Yes, in the 10 o'clock, I go to the, no, work in the, my dog in the park. <laughs> ah, that's nice, that's, that's yes, really it's, nice. Stay yeah. here in the waiting, waiting, waiting for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. He knows the hour that that, that you're going to finish yeah. to go to or to go yeah, for a walk. That's nice. Ten o'clock, uh, five a.m. and the uh, twelve, twelve, maybe. <laughs> wow. There was one time in which I wanted to do exercise at five, five o'clock in the morning. I didn't get up at that time. <laughs> I was getting up like at, a, at about seven. Ah, it's like kind of difficult, uh, really difficult like, to do exercise at that time. But that's the most appropriate time to do exercise or go for a walk. The, in the week, in, for me, the wake up at uh, four o'clock wow. for, for the cooking and the ah, prepare, okay. for, for prepare the the dress for the, the work. 
Nah, nice. That's really cool. You start working at eight, I guess. So, so, so. You're sorry. Working, you start working at eight, I guess. Yes. No. The eight at six o six o'clock all week. From eight to six. Jesus, that's yes. a lot of time. Yes. No. Okay. Nice. Yeah. Sometimes that 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 that's the way how how we like manage the time. But I I guess you work on Saturdays. Or just on weekdays. Sorry, teacher. Do you work on Saturdays? No. no. Uh, Saturday no. and Sunday yes. no work. No, okay. You got Saturday. I am here, here at the home. And, uh, yes, I am here at home. On, oh, only in the case uh, need my attention on the boards. Uh, wow. Yeah, you go. You have to go. Maybe, maybe I have to go. No, good. That's nice. Okay, I guess everybody has already finished. Fatima, can you please read your question? How much sugar do you use? Ah, okay, very good. How much sugar do you use? Okay. There you go. Thank you, Fatima. Ever, read yours. Okay, teacher Courtney, please. Um, how much rain fell on the last week? Okay, fell the last week. There you go. Very good. Yeah, I mean, it was a rainy, rainy week last week. And I was so happy. It was like, oof, I'm going to get. I mean, you know, like like the good weather in the place where I live, and nah, it was hot. Nah. Aquí no hay que nevar, hace frío. Okay, good. Next, Maritza. Read your answer, um, Maritza. How much meal do you buy every day? Now, nah, okay, very good. How much milk do you buy every day? Very good, Marisa. Thank you. Eric? Okay. I made two. How much soda do you drink? And how much time do you chat per day? How much time do you chat per day? Now, okay. That's pretty nice. Okay. Thank you, Eric. Nubia? Uh, how much coffee do you drink every day? I drink eight cups of coffee oh, every day. Eight? Yes, eight cups of coffee. Eight. And beer? Huh? And beer? Obviously, man, the, the big ones. <laughs> yes, of course. My dad. Bread. Yeah, it's not, not, not that the bread because I'm suffering. It's, 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 I told you like I'm on the diet. I need to avoid eating bread. That's horrible. You see, come on. Hey, yeah. guys, but uh -huh. teacher, I have a uh -huh. question for yes. the other guys and uh -huh. you. And, you. Uh -huh. and the, uh, I don't know, say, um, the, do you like the, do you like industrial coffee or fresh coffee? You know what? I buy the grain. <laughs> I buy the grain, and I and yes. I like like put it in a in a in a big uh, thing on the, the, the fire exactly, and I take it to the grill right to to, to make it. Yes, I don't yeah. buy. I mean it's, those those type of it's other, it's, it's, it's other level the, the coffee, because the coffee cup and the others is industrial coffee really. Prepare the coffee and the in the in the time and the aroma 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 creo que es no sé cómo se dice el aroma smell the smell uh -huh. the smell it is different it's very very nice yeah and the taste is different very different yeah yes the coffee I drink in comparison to the coffee uh, my wife and 
my wife family or my my you know co-workers drink i mean I, i don't like that coffee it's because i mean I, i feel it very like 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 i'm drinking water it's like i don't really like it and they say that the coffee i drink is like very like you know like heavy not in the aspect of flavor and all those things because it's, it's like like it's not processed that's why Siempre me dicen que tomo un café de velación <laughs> porque ya parece expreso. Yeah, because it's like, like very oh, good. the express, the express, nice. Yes. No, I mean, Yo that, compré that, un, un molino manual mm -hmm. para cuando viajo. Ah, that's nice. Hey, that, that's yeah, solamente. Cool. Yeah, it's nice. It's for the travel. Ajá. Uh -huh. It's very, very simple. Yeah, and useful. Very useful. Yes. That's nice, man. That's nice. Okay, let's continue. Okay, what's... Yeah, yeah, we were finishing with Nubia. Mm -hmm. Margot, are you still busy? Or you did the question? Nah, she's busy. Forget about it, Margot. <laughs> okay, forget about it. Ana Maria. Let's read your question. Okay, how much beans do you eat in the in day? No, okay. How much beans? Hmm. A lot of beans, Ana Maria. A lot of beans. Even mm -hmm. the beans is like mostly for countable but, but but let's keep it that way, okay? Because it is like bean as a, as an overall. All right. Nice. Let's see who's next. William, let's read your question. Okay. Am I, am I you finish your work? How much you finish your work? Yes. Okay. It would be like, like mostly like how much time do you finish your work? Okay. There you go. Thank you. Okay. Jorge, read your question. Hello, hello. Ah, read your yeah, question. question. Sorry. Yes. Ah, and how much do is a bouquet of sunflower cuts? Nah, okay. All right. Bouquet. It's como el ramo, verdad? Aha, uh -huh. bouquet. Actually. Okay. okay. Bouquet. Thank you. Yeah. The one that Salvador is going to buy for <laughs> one flower only for, for la suscitación in the next. Okay. I think in the coming days, right, Eric? Eric ya es invitado de honor. Ya es de gala, Eric. Saber, no sé, Él es no el sé. padrino, seguramente. ¿Eh? No, 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 no. no. Yes, no. Él es el que lo va a ir a entregar. Ah, que lo va a entregar. Hey. Pero, pero un día antes lo va a entregar para que se lo lleven. Eh. En, en, serio, en serio, Eric, ¿vos vas a llevar el lazo? No, no, nada que ver. No, Eric is, is in charge of the bachelor's party, right, Eric? Right. You know what is a bachelor's party, people? Lo va a ir a perder. De... Uh, one night before. Yeah. Lo va a llevar a comer tacos ahí por la Manferrer. Okay. <laughs> let's, let's continue. Let's continue. Let's see. Ruth, let's read your question, Ruth. Um, teacher, how, how much happiness hey, you feel in life? Now, okay. How much happiness do I feel in my life? Uh, that's a deep question. Pregunta profunda, Ruth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah because sometimes it's like 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 it's it's like a, the emotions are like like this sometimes and sometimes are like on the ground but it's a, it's a good question Ruth. so thank you let's see the last question i think romeo okay how much soda do you drink in the house now okay mm -hmm. Okay, I'm going to make it valid, all right? How much soda do you drink in the house? Okay, good. Let's continue with that. 
Now let's use how many. The structure for how many is this one. We use how many with countable nouns or nouns that we can count, okay? Example, we got how many plus countable nouns plus do or does plus subject plus main verb or verbo principal, remember, main verb. We got the examples. Okay, Maritza, let's read the first question. Uh, how many computers do you have? Thank you, Maritza. Yes, remember, in this case, we can count computers, right? It's something that we can count. There you go. So we got the answer. I have three computers. I have one computer. I have five computers, right? Depending on the on the on the answer, okay. Uh, that's the amount that we're gonna give, or the quantity that we are going to express. Another one, Eric. Read the question. How many jobs do you need? Okay. How many jobs do you need? Remember, the word jobs is plural. We can count jobs. Recuerden la palabra a uh, trabajo, eh, podemos contarlo, right? It's uncountable. I mean, it's countable. Podemos contarlo. That's why we got it like that. How many jobs do you need? Mm -hmm. We can say, I need two jobs. Okay. Two, two, two jobs. And it's like kind of difficult sometimes like to have two jobs, like very different jobs. It's like during the day you do one and at night you do a different one. But it's, it's, it's satisfying, right? It's really satisfying sometimes. Like in my case, uh, during the day I work in one place and now at night I work with, uh, you know, like with all of you, like online. Okay, and we got the last question. And I want for the last question, Fatima, to help me already. How many employees does your company have? Employees, Fatima. Employees okay. does your company have. Thank you, Fatima. All right, how many employees does your company have? Remember, we can count employees. You are employees, all right, from your company. Okay, so we got the answer. It has 150 employees. Okay, y por qué tenemos has? Recordemos, has es la tercera forma, okay, o la forma singular del verbo have. Okay, y como tenemos it in there, okay, that's why we have has. And why do we have it? Because the word it is replacing the word company. Para no poner la palabra the company, solo ponemos it. Es reemplazada por el pronombre it, right? It has 150 employees. There you go. So that is like the uses of countable nouns, okay? Or things that we can count. Example, a strike question. Let's start up. Uh, William, how many cell phones do you have? I, I have one cell phone. One cell phone, very I use, good. I use, I use one cell phone. Now, okay, good. I use one cell phone or I have one cell phone. Very good, William. Now, William. I want you to create one question and ask that question to ever. And the rest, please think in one example using how many with countables. Okay. How many? Mm -hmm. Joe, do you need four? Mm -hmm. Okay. Four? Four become rich. Ah. Uh, to become rich. Yes, to become rich. Ever? How many jobs do you need to become rich? 
seriously? Anyone? <laughs> no, no, Jack. Uh, I and, think. And, uh, and, Eric, and Eric is like, I'm rich. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Maybe when we have a one job, is that is bien remunerado? Well paid. How the, the well paid is is necessary. Uh -huh. Because you have you have to need to to free time for your family when you when to travel to the other place. No. And just like this, yes. No, okay. But in my case, I will I will need like to become rich. I will need like like what ten jobs <laughs> to become rich. Is is the and obviously to the, to the, to and the obviously finish uh -huh, rich. Uh -huh. and not getting like you know like the the minimum, you know like like a payment like uh, like a deputy. Oh. Nah, man. Or yeah, your happiness in your life too. You, you know? know what? You know what? You need to become deputy in order to to get a good job, and you will need only one job to become rich. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, right. Okay, Ever. Thank you, William, by the way, for the question. Now, Ever, I want you to ask that question that you have to Jorge. Okay. Let me see. How many pairs of shoes do you have? <laughs> How many? How many paid? pairs of shoes? Oh, pairs of shoes. Um, for the moment, two parts. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> yeah, two parts, no more. Uh, the the tennis shoes and the boots. The formal, the formal shoes. No so boots. boots. Ah, boots. Like, like a traditional man. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's yeah, a tradition. Three. That's I, a tradition. In the chunkies. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> man. That's the, that's the, a tradition. The one, the one pair multi propulsive and the chunkless. Only that. In the chakra, yeah, only that. That's a, a tradition. Balco. No puedo yeah. dejar la palco. And, and check that out. Y mire todas las, 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 las señoritas que tenemos acá. Y si quedan oh, así wow. como que, ¿cómo pueden sobrevivir con eso? That's no nothing. les creo yo. So That's it's, nothing. It's, fine. It's, it's, it's easy. Just the necessary. En chancla, en chancla todo el día. Y sobrevivir yes. a trabajar en bota. Just the y necessary. tenis para cuando sale a correr. Nada más. Just the necessary, exactly. Only the necessary. Yes. No, pero, pero ellas dicen, no tengo que ponerme. Tienen como 80 pares de, 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 de vestidos, like entre camisas, faldas, whatever, right? <laughs> ah, you see everybody's <laughs> laughing because it's true. Yeah, women are like that. <laughs> okay. My wife, my wife, my wife is, is, is similar. But the she only four parts the, the shoes. Only. Ah, okay, four pairs of shoes. Yes. Mire, yes, mire, yes. Mire, Fatima dice que soy muy poquito. <laughs> <laughs> Fatima, I saw you, Fatima. Huh. <laughs> okay, Jorge. Good. Um, uh, I want you to ask your question, Jorge, to let me see. Ah, uh, to Fatima. Yeah, to Fatima. Okay. Who many people living to you? It's living with you. No, okay. are living are living with you actually. I live with you. Okay. Good. How many people is three people? Three people. Three people, okay. three people, three people. are okay. living. Are living with me. No, okay. Very good. Okay. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, thank you Jorge, for your answer for your question. All right, Fatima, I want you to ask your okay. question to Ana Maria. Okay, Ana Maria. That'll be the last thing that we're gonna be doing. How many tables do you have? Okay. <laughs> tables. Yes. Yes. Yes, but I... not the one for them. Uh -huh. <laughs> not the one for them. Okay. Uh, no, teacher. <laughs> I have three tables. Three tables. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. 
three tables. There you go. Thank you, Fatima. Now, Ana Maria, mm -hmm. I want you to ask your question to Nubia. Nubia, how many jeans but in the this this is years? How many jeans by uh, this is this is este año? Ah. How many jeans did you buy this year? Did you buy, pardon, did you buy uh, this year? This year. This year. I buy, I buy three jeans. I bought, that's in past, I, I bought I three bought jeans. Three jeans. No, okay, good. Thank you, Ana Maria. Now, no, did you, asked, did you uh, ask the question to Eric? Eddie, um, how many hamburgers do you eat? <laughs> a lot of hamburgers. <laughs> In a month. Uh, a day, eat... man. A, me a day, not a month. Ah, a day. A day. Yes. Um, zero, zero Three. hamburger. Three? Oh. Really? Ah. I don't believe. Me neither. <laughs> I don't believe it. I, I know. But, but let's guess. The, let's guess. Zero hamburgers. No, ah. lo que pasa es que zero porque me dio risa porque este, esa, esa misma pregunta había hecho yo. How many hamburgers ah, do you eat in a you month? You cheat on each other, huh? <laughs> okay, huh? Nothing. Te la robó. Ya ve, yeah. estamos conectados. Eso veo. Okay. Uh, yeah. Now, Eric, ask your question to Maritza. Teacher, so sorry, but the time is over. Yes, yes. Let's let's just finish that part and uh, let's make and up. Me, and me, <laughs> for the, my dog. <laughs> oh, yeah, man, you got to go with your my dog, right? Dog. Okay, just, just give me, uh, ask that, I mean, Eric, to ask that question to Maritza and let's finish to pass the attendance list, okay? And okay, you can go. no problem. Okay. There you go. Eric? Uh, Marix, uh, how many cup of, co of coffee do you drink per day? Okay, cool. I drink six cups every day. Okay, very good. I went to you, I drink eight. <laughs> okay, now Maritza, let's ask Ruth and finished. Okay. Ruth. How many children do you have? I'm not children. Okay, I don't have. I children. don't. I don't not have children. Nah, okay, I don't have children. Nah, okay, cool. Nothing, Ruth. He was like, no children, I'm happy. <laughs> no, 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 no. Y así como que no y no quiero tener. Exactly. <laughs> Okay. You know what? I used to think like that two years ago, and I was like, I'm not pretending I'm having kids. And now I'm about to have one. <laughs> That's very ironic. Okay, people. I'm going to pass the attendance list and I'm going to give the last instructions, okay? So let's see. Ana Claribel is not here, right? Ana Maria? Present. Nice. Carlos Avenir is not here. Eric Guillermo? Present teacher. Okay, cool. Ever de Jesus. Present teacher. Nice. And good night. Pat <laughs> Fatima Alejandra. Present teacher. Nice. Gilmar didn't show up, right? Jonathan Alexander didn't show up. Jorge Elber. I am here. Okay, thank you, Jorge. Carla Benacer. Ay, a Carla, I don't know what happened, but she left. Margot Hernandez. Present teacher. All right, nice. Maritza Alcira. Is she there? I'm here, teacher. Ah, okay. Thank you. Let's see. Natalie Vanessa didn't show up. Romeo Alexis. Present. Okay, thank you, Romeo. Rosa del Carmen didn't show up, right? Ruth Joanna. 
present teacher. Okay, thank you. Sara Carolina didn't show up. Stephanie Lisset neither. Vanessa Odette. Present teacher. Nah, okay. Ah, do you do you go home, Vanessa? Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. That's good. That's great. All right. William Alberto. Present. Now, okay, thank you, William. Roxana Yeseni is not here. And the last one, Nubia Zulema. Present, teacher. Now, okay, good. People, uh, one more time before you go, welcome to this module number four. Okay, it's a pleasure to have you here. And I hope, like, you know, like we get along each other, we share uh, knowledge each other, we share every night in here. So, this is like just class one. I know like you got like very enthusiastic and tomorrow we will do more exercises, more practices and all those things. So I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? And let's remember now, Ana Maria, where are you? Okay, Ana Maria, you're gonna be staying in the 10 minutes feedback because Ana Garcia is not here. So you're gonna be on behalf of uh, Ana, okay? Let's just stay mm -hmm. after okay. class. Okay, for the rest okay. people, Welcome to this module number four. Okay, it's a pleasure to have you here. And please, 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 for tomorrow, let's do the homework, okay? <ríe> así que así vamos a ir despacio, okay? Eh, espero podamos trabajar en lo de las tareas en la plataforma. Supongo que no, no han tenido uh, dificultad alguna para poder accesar. Y si tienen oh. alguna dificultad, pues lo hacen saber al grupo de WhatsApp, okay? Y, y, y les podemos ayudar de ahí, de mejor manera, okay? Okay, let's see you, the lesson, let's see the you tomorrow. one is done. Yeah, uh, video conference number one is already done, okay? Let's see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock, okay? Bye-bye, people. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. Right. Bye. Okay. Bye. Good night. Bye. Bye. Hey, that's Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Adios, nos vemos. Nos vemos. Bye-bye. Good, Good night. Bye. And, you're, you're and chivo, teacher. Maria. Yeah, I mean, stay chivo. Chivo, teacher. <laughs> Nos van a perder Eric. Ok. Bye bye, uh, Maritza. Good night. Bye bye. See you Good tomorrow. Bye. Okay. Bye. All right. Just give me a second. I'm going to put. Ok, Ana María. Uh, since, Ana Hola, Gar... since Ana García was uh -huh. not in class, and she was the number one in, in the feedback, uh, I, I chose you, right? I chose you because you're the number two. So if Ana Maria, uh, if Ana Garcia gets connected tomorrow, she will do the feedback, okay? Mm -hmm. She's gonna have the mm -hmm. feedback. Okay, this, okay. Is, this is, remember, right? This 10 minutes is just to clarify any question or any doubts about the topic that we were discussing. I don't know, Ana Maria, if you have any question. Pues con lo de ahora, no tuve, eh, decir lo que se me olvidó el do you, eh, mm -hmm. de how many, va el uncountable o countable, y de ahí do you, eh, más verb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sí, me quedó algo claro. Hoy, hoy no va a haber, eh, veo que todavía no, me ingresé tarde, pero no va a haber el, lo que siempre nos mandaba. What? El, el libro, como del libro. Ah, yes, we're going to be working. Lo que pasa ya lo mandaron. Como, yes, lo no. que pasa es que como ahora, este, digamos, uh, me enfoqué más en ello, pero ya mañana sí, ya mañana vamos a, mm. a trabajar de lleno. In there, in the mm -hmm. book, because we're missing mm -hmm. some exercises from there. Yes, oh, uh -huh. you don't have the book? Eh, no lo he visto, he estado ah, un poquito ocupada, pero ah, ya lo voy a, ya voy a ver. Pero eh, ya es que está... me, me metí tarde en el, en el chat también, es que yo me ah. había metido en otro y yo vi que nadie era y me había, eh, ingresé en el otro que habían mandado primero. Mm, sí, es que Por eso no lo vi. Ajá, ahí habían mandado que, que era un link equivocado, entonces ahí uh -huh. mandaron uno nuevo. Ajá, sí. eh, pero... When did you connect? It? When did you join? ¿Cuándo se unió? Hoy. What time? Hoy. Ah, porque... Tipo noche, noche. 
Ya Ajá. casi cuando estaba entrando, casi como a las 8 y 30. No sé si podría revisar para ver si todavía puede ver el, el, el manual ahí, porque si no, ahorita Ajá. mismo lo puedo reenviar para que lo tenga. Quiero ver, vamos so a ver. Can, so you can print it. Yeah, because es tomorrow que... we're going go straight to the manual. Es que hace poquito, no, no lo veo, no lo veo, teacher. Entonces no tiene ningún, ningún chat, ¿verdad? Ah, no. no. Sí, usted... sí, tengo un chat. Ajá, Tengo sí, pero, pero está, está vacío. Let me see. Sí. Ahorita lo reenvío para que lo pueda, lo pueda tener, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Sí, y yo dije, uy, qué raro, no me aparece. Ajá, yes. Uh -huh. Ahorita. Me uh -huh. confirma, permítame. Ahorita está cargando. Ya cayó. Ahí está. Ya uh -huh. le cayó, ¿verdad? Sí. Espérame, quiero verificar. Ajá, check it. Uh -huh. Because by tomorrow we're going to start uh, just focusing on the manual. Uh -huh. Yes. Solo lo estoy descargando para poder. Uh -huh. And I was having some issues at the beginning of the class. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's, that's why we, like, we got it like a little bit late. Se está tardando. Sí, ya lo vi. No, nah, ok. So perfect. If you have it, that's good. That's nice. Uh -huh. So those are going to be the topics that we're going to sí. be discussing. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And how eh, about... Uh -huh. eh, quiero ver... Mi mamá está todo. Este... De, ah, de ahí lo, lo primero que vieron en la clase, porque yo ya entré cuando ya estábamos en uno como ejemplo, vocabulary... Antes de eso, ¿qué fue lo que vieron? Ah, uh, we were... you like to buy when you eh, go shopping? Cuando estaba preguntando sobre las compras, los cuatro del ah, listado. Okay. Antes de eso. Give me a second. Before that, I was showing some, some things. Give me a second. I'm going to show it. I'm going to show it to you. We were doing and we were practicing this. Eh, al principio igual estuve dando las indicaciones, lo que siempre damos en el curso, en cuanto al curso, ¿ok? Las indicaciones, qué hacer, qué no hacer, you know, like, like the indications, right? Que tiene que cumplir con, con, por lo menos como mínimo, con el 80% de, la, de las actividades en, el, en la plataforma. Ahora sí vamos a estar trabajando un poco de lleno con el uso de eh, las discusiones de la clase, ¿ok? De, de, ah, ok. De la plataforma. Ahora sí lo vamos a estar haciendo todos los días. It will, be a, it will be a requisite, ¿ok? Y aparte de ello, pues igual las tareas de la plataforma. Tenemos igual el examen de medio curso que será de este próximo miércoles al siguiente. Puesto que el próximo miércoles estaríamos terminando la semana 1, ¿ok? We're going to be finishing week one. Entonces, para el próximo miércoles, okay. uh, antes de medianoche yo... Debería ya de tener todas sus, 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 sus uh, tareas hechas, las cinco tareas, las cinco primeras tareas hechas. Ok. And this was the general sí. topic. Look, how to use count and non count nouns. Este mm. era el tema. Ok. O nom, nom, cómo usar nombres contables y no contables. Ok. And we were doing some indications, you know, like the class agenda, lo que íbamos a estar viendo. And this is where the questions. Estas eran las, las preguntas que estábamos discutiendo. ¿Ok? Like, what do you like to buy when you go shopping? ¿Ok? That was like the main topic, right? Como para discutir. Que si le gusta, sí. el, le gusta comprar cuando va a... Right? De compras. Right? And we were mentioning that. And this is the vocabulary that we were practicing. Y pues ya acá, pues el vocabulario relacionado uh, al tema. En este caso acá... Estamos hablando de uncountable nouns, ¿ok? When we talk about size, wave, price, battery life, dimensions, just those are like, you know, like, some of them are yes. uh, uncountable and uncountable. Mm -hmm. And this is the rest of, uh, you know, like, the vocabulary, we got a story, yeah, yeah. function, warranty, and so on. Ahí ya estaba. Mm -hmm. Ahí ya había entrado. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was the extra vocabulary. So we sí. were not like doing that that much. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
Entonces ahí sí. lo que nos estamos enfocando más que todo en el uso de, de nombres contables e incontables. Este, este es, bueno, este, este módulo va a terminar ¿cuándo? Este módulo va a terminar el 13 de octubre. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. Yes. Bueno, Ay, justo 13. cuando me empieza 13 de octubre. Es que como allá en Estados Unidos empieza el Daylight Saving Ajá. en noviembre. Entonces ahí estoy viendo yo con la compañía porque como yo estoy de 10 a 8, pero mm. cuando ya nos muevan esa hora, que ya va a ser en noviembre, voy a salir ah, a yes. las 9 y allí, allí es donde estoy viendo cómo hago con la compañía. Jesus porque, porque allí va a ser una hora. Yes, ya, I o know. sea, tendría que entrar pasada las 9. I know, pero I know. yo la... Ya lo, ya lo estoy como consultando para ver si o me dejan el mismo horario o a ver cómo voy a ir. Yes, that's true. Sí, es cierto. Y ahí viene lo del daylight. Eh, ajá. Sí, eso es como se adelanta una hora. Entonces yeah, nosotros, si yo entro a las, a las 10, por ejemplo, voy a entrar a las 11, pero voy a salir a las 9. Uh -huh. Entonces, medio lo comenté con mi jefa ahora porque ya nos, ya nos dijeron los horarios que vamos a tener. De hecho, ya nos volvieron a cambiar otra vez. Hoy, hoy voy a estar descansando y así vamos. En este nuevo horario que empieza el 13 de octubre, voy a descansar domingo y lunes. Ahorita descanso sábado y domingo. Uh -huh. Ahí así es. Cada tres meses nos van a estar cambiando yeah. el horario. Every three months. Uh -huh. My God. Así que ahí voy a de, depender de lo que ellos digan. Si ellos me dicen, sí, miren, no podemos cambiarlo, me voy a tener que salir. Exacto. Uh -huh. yes. sí. Bueno, ya vamos a ver qué tal. Ojalá que Ojalá. Sí pueda, uh -huh. pueda encontrarse una solución ahí para que pueda uh -huh. seguir con las clases también. Sí. Yeah, it's, like, it's really, really good like, like to take this, this, this type of classes. You know, like, uh -huh. since they are free, You don't pay, so it, it's, it's really good and helpful. Yes. Sí. Well, let's see, Ana Maria. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you have checked it, if you have checked the, the platform. Have you checked sí. the platform? Sí, rapidito, entre medio, entre hoy en la tarde, pero sí ya vi que ya la tengo activada y ya vi que puedo, puedo ingresar. That's, that's awesome. Mm -hmm. That's really cool. Sí. Mm -hmm. okay. Nice, Ana Maria. I don't know if you have any other question, Ana Maria. Mm, no. Related to the no. topic, everything is okay? Yeah. Okay, yeah. Ana Maria. So, let's see tomorrow then in the, the second video conference. So, mm -hmm. what's up? Sí. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll see Gracias you there tomorrow. Todo. Okay? No okay. problem. That's why we are here. Okay, good night, Ana Maria. Bye-bye. Okay, bye.